Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So last time in TNO, Kingdom of England, we had a little issue with people wanting to kill the monarch. The current reigning monarch, of course. But now we are currently in a little game between us and a little bit of a resistance group called HMMLR, also known as Himmler. Himmler! Go surprise there, no surprise there, kind of interesting. But we have a couple things to read. The SAS terror bombing. On a crisp and quiet morning, MP Howard Trobard put a key in his cognition to a good work in the House of the Lords. Not a second later, he was engulfed in a horrific fireball. As the brave London officers descended upon the quiet suburb of Bexley, the remnants of the attack painted a vile picture. Four people were killed by the massive explosion, including Ho Trobart's recently hired groundskeeper. Just across the street lay a dark beret with a winged dagger, leaving no questions as to the involvement of the SAS in this evil attack. Months of heavy crackdowns on the rebels have not halted these disgusting acts of violence, with them becoming so frequent Londoners are beginning to refer to them as dinner bell bombings. There's no question that we are in a struggle for all that is good and moral on these aisles. And and if we do not decisively move to cut off the head of the terrorist snake, then the murder of innocent men and women will simply become a fact of life. Smoke them out. But we have a battle of a Portman Road. Supposedly it started with a spilled pint. For a long time, Burnley FC fans had pushed the limits of what would be considered acceptable, even for English football. More than once, policemen with truncheons had to chase out fans holding God Save the Queen banners and flying the pre-war English flag. The beer dumped on the officers and the shoves they encountered trying to catch these unruly hooligans was an all-good sport, but as the Premier League finals approached, things started to get nastier. The flags flew higher, the chants were louder, and pushes turned to punches. Everything would have been fine had Ipswich... Town FC managed to win. The club and most of the town were known to support the government. What may come, or what may, what may, and a thrashing might have shut the clarets up for a couple good months. But this was not to be. A long pass down the field by Angus allowed for Walker to cross over to Harris, a burly favorite and a winking Himmler supporter. This last pass would forever be debated among football circles. Was it offsides? What if it hadn't been Harris that scored? Were the rough secret HMMLR supporters or paid off by resistance members? But as Harris jumped across the field in victory after the goal, none of this mattered to the Burnley fans. And shortly after the roars died down, the chanting started, Kratz, Kratz, wherever you may be, F right off to your own country. Ah, interesting. Surely against blue... Uh, shortly thereafter, the two sections soon crashed against each other, red against blue, in a maelstrom of disorganized violence. Uh, fans poured out onto the field and were thrown over the stands. By the time order had been restored, the patch was cancelled. Two were dead and dozens more seriously injured in what would forever be known as the Battle of Portman Road. It's in the open now. Woo! And let's make sure that we are doing okay. We've got enough political power. Maybe we could get, increase our relations with these guys. That probably would be good. We're slowly getting more political power, so we're going to hold on to what we have. We've got over 1,200 guns, and we've got a little bit of time before we need to do any of this stuff. Which is good. Ooh, more monthly trends? That's not good. We'll probably do monthly trends for these areas, actually. So we can start lowering this, like this. Ooh, that's not good. They actually raised that up. But, oh, and here we go again. So, as a refresher, we're doing Macmillan's re reasoning, and I asked you guys yesterday whether we should go towards the north, convincing the Midlands, or focus on the south. And I think the overwhelming support, or the majority support, went to... The Midlands. So they'll lose support in Severn, Western Midlands, and Eastern Midlands, which would be probably a good thing for us. What Severn, which actually we need, we do need uh, Severn as well. So we'll get some more support in the middle. But it all will depend eventually. All this will affect the Civil War down the road. I speak with the army, so we probably want to go with that. And we also need to focus also on making sure that we have enough stability in London. I'm sorry, I'm taking a while to do this just because I want to make sure we do this right and ahead of time. London, East Midlands, London, East Midlands, and for now, Gloucestershire. East Midlands, you need more uh, stability. London is going to need more stability. And then this Gloucestershire is going to need more stability. Actually, we, we need pretty much stability everywhere. We're going to go ahead and do this monthly so this doesn't change. Over here in Oxfordshire. Let's go ahead and just do a propaganda campaign, probably for now. Because so now we're 28.5, that's not bad. Uh, Wiltshire, it, it seems like policing. They can get more monthly support, but we can just do that as well. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, here, East Anglia, I think we're probably going to need that. Good, let's double check anything else here. Uh, West Midlands. We'll keep increasing stability here for now, that'd be fine. We could lower support here, actually, that would probably be a good thing. They're at 70, then they're at 70, and then, oh, that's going down, it's not bad, and they're at 71. Good. Good, 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 good. Now they're going to do their own effects. Now we have a, 
1115 guns, so that's not terrible. Meng Jiang has defeated Mongolia. Alright. Don't really care that much. But yes. At least we got Oxford Shire back for now. For now. And the Lord help us, the Reds have rifles. As your government struggles to preserve order amidst the sickening, slackening aid from Germania, the terrorists have grown increasingly bold in their strikes against us. On the outskirts of Brentwood, an armory left lightly defended due to increasing violence in the capital was subject to brutal assault by communist forces. In the dark aisles of night, multiple men in red braids shot the few members posted for security with their revolvers, and they proceeded to ransack the armory's interior. As dawn broke and the Reds receded to their, dark, to their dank holes, our army was left to survey the damage. As we feared, dozens of assault rifles, rocket launchers, and bulletproof vests were taken, while what couldn't be taken was heavily damaged by what appeared to be a cluster of pipe bombs. A crude hammer and sickle sprayed or painted on the armory's rear, leaving us knowing only the vile creed of these bastards. One member of the security detail is now in questioning, saying that he saw the attack occurring from a distance as he'd gone to the hills for <clears throat> bodily needs. There's no answer here, only a clear need to put out the fires and get our house in order. We, we will pay every crime in kind. Oh, and they took guns from us. Ah, they do have that option. I forgot about that. The other group does have the option of stealing guns from us, which really sucks. Macmillan's reasoning, good. Congratulations to the champions. Hmm. That GDP stuff, my goodness. Make sure we get London just really going here. You know what? Instead of that, I'm also going to do... 50, 80, mm hmm. Sussex is probably going to stay with us. Let's keep them down there for now. Let's do that too. Uh, lining Parliament... Uh, we could probably do this just to get it ready for when we need it. Talk to the lower class. We must start a dialogue with the lower class in order to keep this country together. They are the most vulnerable to be swayed by the Himmler's ties. If we can promise some token reforms and begin talks about future liberalization, hopefully the masses will be content and not fall ooh, into the resistance ranks. And the triumvirate has just fallen. Well, good for you guys. Yeah, relations are non-existent. I guess, you know what, I'll do this for now. We will have low relations for a while, but that's okay. Because we, we all need a lot of guns. 1960. Let's grab that, and then what else? Let's grab that too. Good. And there goes, of course, the sorry, Umbert, a nation that, a, a faction that doesn't last very long, and that's fine with us. At least we have low relations. I don't want to get a small amount of gun shipments. I want more. They took Sussex seriously. Seriously, man. Hmm. That's really disappointing. So dumb, man. But at least, you know what? They're going to lose support up here, too, very soon. So that's a good thing, at least. At least, hopefully. Nope. I don't think they can get that much more support anywhere else. So. It's not that difficult if, as when I tried as HMMLR, but you know what? With the updates and stuff like that, you never know what things might change. So we're definitely going to get more stability down in Sussex, because down the line, we're going to need it. I right, talked to the lower classes. Turkey declared war on El Governato de Levant. Cool. Government will gain, gain, gain. Severn must be 75. State stability in Wiltshire. So it's just so much stability has to happen. Uh, uniting Parliament, why not? So, Macmillan believes that to unite the nation, we first must unite the squabbling politicians in Parliament. Everyone here has a common love of England, so for now, everyone here, from the most reform-minded to the most hardline among us, must put aside our differences to calm the people down and unite the country. Yes, good idea. Alrighty, tidy. So, we still going to need... This, as much as I'd love to get more support right there, that stuff can wait for now. We're gonna need some more of that, that's fine. Um, they're really trying to kill us here in Oxfordshire, which is barely ours, so we're gonna go ahead and do this then. That's fine. East Anglia, that's fine. Get more stability, that's what matters the most right now. Wiltfordshire, Gloucestershire, just in case. That's 80, that's actually really nice. Anything else? I did miss there. Cool. Midlands, West Midlands, just in case. Severn, we definitely need that. Now, up here. You're gonna lose support. You're gonna lose that much support. And then over here, they lost two support. So they they knock out our support. I'm gonna knock out their support. Oh, oh, the Republic of Yugoslavia. Oh. Uh, but they're probably not gonna last very long. Let's be real here. Oh, San How long has San Marino existed? They're their own country? Well, they don't have a focus tree apparently, but that's actually really cool. Is the Vatican alive? Oh, the Vatican is alive too. Rome. That's kinda cool. They got. Not a lot of dudes there, but they got 12 out of 5 recruitable population, which is more than I thought. They're okay. Whatever. Sure, why not? And can we do the mission? No, we don't need Operation Lancaster. Field Marshal Bill Alexander will be injured, unable to command during the uprising, which is fine. We need basically 80% stability, state stability, for London. So that's why I'm trying to really hammer home on stability right now. Just so that we have it for later. And gun-wise, we are looking not great, but still could be worse. Uh, 
I'll probably bribe the garrisons. Yeah, see, relations is non-existent. I mean, that's that's just garbage. Straight garbage. We could increase relations, but for what? Nothing, really. And there goes the Republic of Yugoslavia. Very good. Oh, and something else happened. Oh, and here comes Croatia. Swallowing what is known as Bosnia. Ah, uniting parliament. Good. Speak with the army? Sure. Prime Minister at home has called for a meeting of a top generals in order to discuss the worst possible scenario of open rebellion. Although the Prime Minister hopes that it will never come to this, we wouldn't want to be caught unaware. Ge General Montgomery says we can raise two impromptu divisions in the event of an uprising to supple supplement our army. As well, he recommends not to deploy the military to police civilians, as this will only turn them against us. It's a good idea. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bribe the garrison. We, we can't get up to here. It, it, it just takes too long to do that, so we're going to go with this one so we can get better relations. And kind of watch what happens in London. Which happened very soon. And we should be able to do stuff soon. I do want to buy the end of this campaign. I'm not sure if it's possible. I'm hope I'm hopeful that it will be. So we can get like Wales, Cornwall under us, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe Scotland. Bash production, good. Good, good, good. 65, that's a little bit ahead of time. We're doing that one already. We can't do that. 65, that's a little bit ahead of time. Uh, synthetic. I don't know if we have any synthetic refineries. We will get one on. Locked? Unless we already have one unlocked, maybe not. Well, you already have one unlocked. That's nice. We could use more rubber. But honestly, we could probably come over here and continue doing this stuff because we we're really behind time. Talk to the German politicians. Oh, reject to them. Yeah, we could do that. Mongolian Civil War. Cool. Councils defeated in Jangan War. Okay, well, that's a little different. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> oh, now they're doing monthly trends here. That makes sense for them. Cool. So, of course, not normal. London. Thank you. Oh, it's barely ours for now. Barely ours. Uh, Sussex. I'm sorry, man. I just can't remember that well. Like, there's so much here. They lose support, which is good. Mm. East Midlands has to be 80. So London in East Midlands, 80. And Gloucestershire has to be 65. Gloucestershire in East Anglia has to be 65. So Gloucestershire has to be 65. So we're done there. What we're going to do, we're going to start decreasing their influence there. Veltashire is pretty good. Decrease their influence there. Down here, do we need Sussex? Severn must be 80. Wiltshire has to be 75 as well. Jesus, that's so high. Ah, uh, we can't do that one. So I don't think so. So let's go ahead and get this back into the fold under us. Grab that, grab that. Oxfordshire. Go ahead and just increase our stuff here. East Anglia, we... Going to need 65. I think it was, was it? I can't remember the mess with West Midlands or not. Do East Midlands as well. It's fine, Severn. Just get it up higher for now. And up here, lower their support. Lower the support. And you know what? Continue to lower their support as well over here. So they will never have the North again. And we might not have the South, but they don't have the North. Cool. So non existent. Wait, hold on. Non existent relations. Hopefully that goes up because, uh,. We need more relations with them. That's why I chose that one that cost 80 political power. That's not very good if we have non-existent relations. I know it says small boost over time, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess we'll, we have to do that one because there's nothing else we can do. We don't have any relations with them, which really sucks. Speak with the army. Good, 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 good. Oh. Oh, boy. Cool. And, ooh, more war support. That's not really... As Great, those support in Severn, West Midlands. Uh, convincing the Midlands. Ah, let's do this one. Chesterton's dedication. Chesterton, our security minister, is our first head of ahead on the round table. Although some of our government question Chesterton's fervor, and supporters of the Germans, the king has assured that the Council of Chesterton will be happy to work with everyone. Already, Chesterton has called for curfews and increased presence of armed policemen on the streets in the interest of national security, of course. Of course. Italy. Oh, Turkey wins the Italo Turkish War. Peace in the Middle East, huh? Well then. Turkey, uh, good, good job, I guess. Good job. Run a pro-packed media campaign. I'd love to do that, but... Uh, that's not really good for us right now. Yeah, we just gotta keep boosting stability up in London for now. Oxfordshire. Oh, they got this back. That's not good. Come on. Give me another boost. Okay, so something's going on here. I don't like this. We just did that one to give us increased relations. And now we even have worse... Rel like, nothing happened. That was a complete waste of political power then. What the heck, game? Uh, that was such a waste. Well, it looks like we're not going to have a lot of guns for this campaign, are we? Whew. 
Despite us needing a lot, it doesn't look like we're going to get that far with them. That's good. I like that. I'm going to keep that, that kind of low. So that's good. Oh, here we go. Um, hmm. Make it nice and brown. Keep raising that up. We're going to lose London in just a little bit, which is fine. Do that so they have less influence. I'm sorry, man. I, just, I can't remember. Gloucestershire 60. East Anglia 60. East Anglia 60. 65. So let's go ahead and lower their influence. And Gloucestershire. We're already at 70, so that's fine. That should be fine. Right? Yeah, 60. Fleet of Germany. Uh, Radical Day. Radical Days. East Midlands must be above 75. I'm sorry, there's just so many that I can't remember. I don't even write this down stuff down. So we're doing better there. And then all the way at the bottom, or closer to the bottom, Severn has to be 75 as well. 75 and Velchire and Severn. So we're already there, so that's pretty good. And Mr. Shah. Uh, we're not quite there yet, that's okay. Uh, West Midlands actually doesn't matter too much. Go ahead and do that one. Vilcha, go ahead and do that, even though they're getting a lot more help there. Seems like the game's really against you here. Ooh, or against us, really. Go ahead and do that, lower the support. No, now that looks nice. That looks really nice. We have support and they don't, even though we are running out of guns. Hmm. I wonder if the AI, when they're playing as a resistance, have to deal with the same thing that we do in terms of increasing relations with the OFLN, even though it's mostly America that they, you know, they get the guns from. They still get other guns from other nations, I think. Cool. Uh, terror tactics, I like that, but a fist and will. Tristan has informed His Majesty that a drastic increase in the size of the military is necessary to provide security and destroy the rebellion. A strong fist to smash any resistance to our government. The military shall call it more to serve and will deploy to the north, which Chesterton believes is a hotbed of resistance activity. Although some generals are skeptical that this expansion is possible and strongly oppose deploying troops to the cities and countryside, Chesterton has assured him, or them, he has the blessing of his majesty and the endeavor. Good. Oh, military austerity. Well, we still don't need you for now. Yeah, I'm not going to reach out to the German politicians. They did nothing for us last time. Do that. We could get civilian spending. You know what? I want to increase the amount of construction spending we have, so let's do that. Let's get some more factories flowing through here. They'll be done in 63. Well, we'll see what happens. We got four political power. Hmm. 855 guns. We're, that's not enough, man. That's just not enough. That's not going to cut it. But, you know what? That looks good. That looks. That really doesn't look bad at all. So, Glusta Shire. I can never remember. Where's Glusta Ah, that's Glusta Shire. It has to be at 75 or higher, something like that. And, of course, London has to be very high as well. And America's at war. Of course, they would be. Now, they're pretty close. They'll probably get Yorkshire back. They don't care about Newcastle whatsoever. Lancashire. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, they got this back. Which we kind of expected. A fist and will. Well, let's do some terror tactics. Apparently, the military increase was not enough for Chesterton. In a meeting with the king, government officials, and military leadership, Chesterton has demanded the military use all available means to strike fear into the rebels. He believes that this will destroy the will of the resistance, and they will be sent scurrying back to their holes. Ooh. Some of our generals have threatened to disobey any order that would use terror tactics against their own people, and have been drawing comparisons to the Luftwaffe Blitz of London during the invasion. However, Chesterton has reminded his majesty, and everyone present, that these rebels are not Englishmen, but traitors who will get exactly what they deserve. They will lose support in Savannah, Western, and Eastern Midlands. Good. That's what they deserve. And I'm just going to rack up as much political power as I can. Because this is... I, I wasted 80, 60... It was 80 political power. And then another 20. So there's no point doing this. There's literally no point doing that. So that is not bueno in my mind. Very not bueno. Uh, reach out to German politicians. No thanks. And we lost London and Oxfordshire. But it's auto now. Let's do that. Over here. Don't let them increase. Go ahead and do that so we can get them back for now. Crap. Uh, so over here, we don't have to do this at all yet. Look at the cells. East Midlands has to be 80. Cool. East Midlands have to be 80. So do that. Mm hmm. Well, let's focus on what we know. The Sasha, that should be pretty good. Lower their support. Veltsha, lower the support. Midlands, lower their support as well. Uh, we already tried that. Lower their support for now. Even just further lower their support. Further lower their support. Severn. This, why are there so many different places we have to keep an eye on? 
East Anglia has to be above 60, 100. Savannah has to be 80. And Veltria has to be 80. For Savannah and Veltria. That could lower, eventually. Alright, so let's go quickly through all these, see what we've missed. East Anglia has to be 65, but it's good. Keep it like that. Because I don't want to miss any single one of these. Alright, that looks pretty good. I think we get hit every single one of them. Yeah, that's good. That's good. My apologies for clicking through this all these times. It's just... You never know. Hey, relations are finally low. Finally. Bribe the garrison? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there he goes. And non-existent once again. No point doing it. I wish you could see how much your relations decrease by. That would be incredibly helpful because right now, I'm not supposed. To, how am I supposed to know when the relations go down? I, I have no idea. No idea. I mean, this one isn't. Oh, has Burgundy finally done it? God help us all. Oh boy. Oh, terror tactics. Good. Actually, let's look at that before we move on. Terror tactics. And that was in the Midlands, right? Ah, yes. Quite a bit more less. More less support, less support overall, which is good. So let's go ahead and do the Miss Middle one. Convincing the Midlands. Home has chosen the Midlands as a focus in unifying the country. The North is lost and the South is firmly under our grasp for now. The Midlands, however, remain a battleground torn between us and the resistance. If we can convince them to support us, any possible uprising would be severely weakened without their support. They lose support, more support in Severn, Miss, Western, and Middle, Western and East Midlands. I'm sorry, I cannot speak in this episode. I'm sorry. Or remember what we need. So. So, okay, so the next one we're going to focus on is probably the East Midlands, Midlands, so we can just forget about it once we're done. So let's focus on locating the cells and destroying them. I think that'd be a good thing. East Midlands has to be 80. Good. And they're right there. Oh, no, right there. Has to be 80. So we're getting pretty close. They're getting more support, which sucks, but having more state stability is really nice. But we are slowly running out of guns. If I could do it, I could probably reach out to politicians. I don't know when things were set. Uh, you know what? We could try it. I want to get some guns. I, we got to get at least a medium shipment. Can we get at least a medium shipment, maybe? All right, there we go. East Midlands, 80. Don't want to forget that. We lost that place again. Do that. That's ours for now. Lower the support. Veltshire, just do that for now. Gloucestershire, we should be good enough there. East Anglia. Do that just in case. Midlands, we already did. Western Midlands, lower their support. Savan, it looks pretty good. Lower their support. Lower their support. Lower their support. And then, of course, like normal, lower their support. So they can't do anything about it. And I believe we had everything there. Did we? Yeah, I think we did. Military government in the Gulf. It's a Roman eagle losing her feathers. Oh, boy. Iraq, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, the fall of the trim, but it's not very good. All right, see, see, look at what happened again. Like we people have to know, like when relations go down. Like this doesn't make any sense, because now I can't get any guns at all, which really sucks. Well, look at the cells. For far too long, the resistance has operated under our noses. The full extent of the reach was revealed in the fateful assault on our king. Home has given full authority to the MI5 and the Field Marshal Montgomery to step up infiltration and intelligence operations. Once we're through, there'll be nowhere for them to hide. Good. So we can get rid of the East and East Midland stuff. They don't have to focus on it nearly as much. Which will be a good thing. A very, very, very good thing. Ah, uh, US has defeated Guiana in their police in actions. Well, I, mean, I can't imagine these guys would be too difficult to take out. I mean, yeah, they have to invade, but still. Yeah, that, that, the, the bribe of the garrison is not worth it either. Like, <laughs> it's just so bad. Like, it says multiple small boosts over time. That happened once, literally one time, for 80 political power. That's just that's just not worth it. It might be best to do a pro media campaign. You know what? I'm gonna keep an eye on this. Let's try it one more time and just waste political power to see if we can get a, at least a medium gun shipment because we have barely over 600 right now. Because this is get, turning this is turning a little ridiculous. Not gonna lie. Come on, come on. At least let me buy some guns for the love of God. No, nothing. Just nothing. Just nothing again. This sucks. Uh, let's, ooh, which one do we want to focus on next? Uh, Yorkshire? Oh, we could probably do that shaky compromise. 
I want to get down here quickly as well. So we need one of the following. This would be faster to get through. Maybe one, two, three. One, two, three. Eh, let's go. Uh, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And eh, dominate Yorkshire. Sheffield, although devastated during the Blitz, has managed to recover and become a vital transportation and industrial hub in Yorkshire. The Sheffield Railway Station, in the event of an uprising, would be a key in transporting troops from our southern bases to the rebellious north. Therefore, Chesterton has pushed for the Black Shirts to step up their operations in Yorkshire and for the military to set up checkpoints in Sheffield, especially around the station. We must not allow the gateway to the north to fall at any cost. I'm keeping my eye on this like a hawk. Nothing's happening. Cock is injured in the Kiev bombing. Hey! Bear trap. Great. David Stealing will be injured and unable to command. Is that a good thing? I guess it's a good thing. Bad enough. Look at all, like, all those guns at a cost. And we, oh, and we can do this again. Good. Oh, God. We lost support everywhere. But they lost all their support as well. And we're going to lose all our guns. There we go. Some more support. East Anglia. So we just did the one from East Anglia. So that's pretty good. We don't have to worry about that anymore. At least I hope, right? Oh, East Midlands. Oh, East Midlands. Okay, so Midlands are done. Gutsashire. East Anglia has to be 65. Which is fine. Lower the support. Gutsashire, do that as well. For now, Oxfordshire. Uh, Give us back some more support. That's good. That's good. That's, that'll be fine. Go ahead and do that as well. Uh, East Midlands, we're done. So, just... That is so much support. They're putting all their support into there. Wow. Nope. Nope. And then... Nope. Keeping an eye on this. Small relationship boost over time? I don't believe you, man. I don't believe you. Look, oh, we, we don't have any guns. We literally have no guns left because the game screws us over. Or the mod. Not the game. It's still a game. Still. So basically, it doesn't matter what we do at this point. We just have to get through the Civil War as fast as possible because that's ridiculous. That is really just ridiculous. The game just keeps screwing us over in terms of this. Mm. We choose to talk to German politicians. They do nothing for our relations with the Corn Cornish people. I mean, what is the pers person supposed to do now? I have to keep doing this stuff. So I guess we're not going to be able to do any of this. Hmm. That sucks. That really is not a good mechanic there, then. They, you have to see the relationship level. You have to. Or you just don't know what's going to happen. Screw it. Let's do it again. Why not? Because who cares about political power? Use the black shirts. Good. The black shirts were started by Mosley, but have grown to serve us long after the trade had fled. This paramilitary group is known for their ferocity and devotion to the fascist cause, although many in the government dismiss them as racist. Violent hooligans, Chesterton believes that they could bolster our forces, and their absolute devotion would intimidate the resistance into submission. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on this. Keeping a very strict eye for every single day that this passes. Every single day. Hey, look, you, you see that right there. It did nothing. So, we're kind of screwed on guns, man. I'm really, I'm, I really don't want to say that, but we're screwed on guns, which really hurts me. So the only guns we can get are through our focuses. That's not very good. Bulgaria says with Germany. Okay, well, that's good for them. Can we please have relations? All right, let's spend our guns up, my friends. Woo, they're not doing anything down there, so we're not going to do anything down there just yet, maybe. I really want to see these guns. Uh, you know what? Even if we invest in London, we need 250 guns to do this thing. But we can't do that. Can't buy. Can't buy. Hmm. Alright. You know what? I wish I could tell us, like, what this will do. Rufus? I, I couldn't tell you, man. Uh, let's see, Feltshire. We're pretty stable in a lot of areas here, so. They really want a lot of support down here. Well, we'll increase the stability, but there's no guarantee of anything here. We're about to lose that area, so be it. Uh, Yorkshire. We've done a pretty good job in the north, actually. We've done a very good job. And now we have 135 guns. Hmm. Oh, we can still do Sussex. I guess do that for now. That's fine. That'll be okay. Lancaster. Ah. 
I just want to get to the Civil War as fast as possible, man. Ooh, military austerity is gone. That's fine. You know what? More spending. More construction. Why not? Build, 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 and let's use the black shirts. And Edwin's... Edward trip to Germania. The king goes to Germany, and with him goes a fascist ideologue, Trotha Chesterton. Rumors surrounding the visit indicate that they supposedly intend to request that some of the restrictions on the English military be lifted while purchasing some German equipment to assist in equipping the sudden much larger English armed forces. This is the first time in years that England has shown any sign of being more than just a reluctant appendage of the Greater German Reich, and is sure to intrigue the German bureaucrats, possibly with favorable results for us. Which is always a good thing. Wait, right, I can actually buy guns! This is random! This is weird! This is the only time I can ever buy guns! Hmm, but I, you know, I've, I've kind of, I don't, want, I don't want to curse or anything or say anything bad, but I've already bitched about it enough, in which I'm, I'm tired of, like, complaining about this, because nothing's going to change. Oh, well. But all we can say is that at least we got a little bit of support down here for now, even though Oxfordshire is going to leave us, and London, well, hopefully they don't get too much support down here. Ooh, there's a lot of lag. Happy 1963, though. Hope you're having a good year. The Leahy take over in the Levant. Whoever has shed man's blood, by man's blood shall be shed. Cool. We got upgrades to our guns. Let's get some improved infantry rifles too. That's a good idea. A very, very, very good idea. Still only get 0.36 political power day. Very disappointing. Uh, but maybe we can get 100 guns, perhaps? That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, jolly good. Shipment successful. It's basically nothing, but you know, whatever. We'll take whatever we can get for now, I suppose. But that's really nice that these... They, they lost all the support in Yorkshire. They probably put all their investment into the Midlands, like how we put our investment in, into the Midlands. Eh, maybe a little bit. East Midlands, for sure they did, but... Alright. Tripped to Germania. Actually, we have enough to do this. Is that really worth it? Probably not, honestly. Bill Alexander will be injured and unable to command. I'd rather make sure that we have, right now we get enough support here. So... Uh, let's see. You're, that's more than fine for now. Sussex, you're looking pretty good. That's fine. London, we're pretty good there for now. We don't want them to get too much support. Uh, lower that there. Lower that there. At this point, we're just going to lower their support. I think that'd be for the best. They're really going for the East Midlands. Wow. Good. Lower the support. Yeah, they don't care about the North at all. Or, not very much, at least. Which is a good thing. Alright then, very good. Expel the radicals. Sometimes to kill a cancer upon the body, there can be no living within it. And there is merely a choice between letting it poison you or cutting out at the roots. Arthur Chesterton is a cancer upon the royal party. He represents the kind of base submission to the Germans we, that we'd hope Englishmen would never step to. Since the cancer will not leave of its own volition, we shall do the deed ourselves. Chesterton is too high a uh, profile to simply vanish, but the same cannot be said of his fellows. A few mysterious disappearances and his and high profile arrests for corruption will do our party a world of good and keep us safe from German dominance. Oh boy. Within our own government, we're not doing very well then. Oh. Yeah, we have 205 guns. It's not really worth it. If they get a field marshal, who cares, I guess. All we have left is Sussex, though. That does not make me feel good. <laughs> that really does not. But this economy, man, let me... What? Like, I don't understand. Like, I wish I could show you where we're spending all this extra money. Because because it shows you for civilian spending, it's always a proportional to your GDP. As well as military spending, which you can edit, you know, modify, which we've done right now. Or even construction, which is only 3.5%. But where is this extra expenditure going? Like, I guess we could look over here to, like, political laws and stuff like that. But even then, it doesn't seem, like, that bad. Public education lowers our speed. Poverty rate is going down. That's not good, obviously. But it is what it is. Expel the radicals. <clears throat> good. Quick moderates. Get more guns. Uh, we could do that. Let's get the military. Political power, political power. Call upon the garrisons. The treaty in which the UK became England did not entirely remove the German Reich from our isles, despite our hopes. While the Wehrmacht withdrew from the majority of England and Wales, the peninsula of Cornwall remained occupied under the authority of General Franz Hadler, officially as a guarantee of protection, unofficially as a knife pointed at her back. A harsh man, Hadler, as re or Hadler, Hadler, has maintained military authority in Cornwall with ruthless efficiency and an iron fist, but now we find a situation in which he must once again maybe prove useful. Halder assisted us in crushing the communists at Cable Street. Perhaps he might be willing to help us with the matter of Her Majesty's most loyal resistance. But we ought to be careful, at least, lest he seek involvement with Germany more directly. Which I cannot speak when I'm recording this. My apologies. As long as this southern area doesn't flip, I would be like, Oh wow, they're, they're really gunning for Veltshire. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're really gunning for it. Oh, And they took out Sussex. Are you kidding me? Like, I don't understand. How can the resistance do so well over here? They must have really focused on the south. Not the middle portion, but the south. 
which really sucks. Um, even if I reach out of them, we don't have enough political power, which is stupid. Uh, oh, we're taking that back, son. 80 is pretty good. Go and lower the support here. Over here, lower the support. Over here, lower the support. Over here. Yeah, no, you're not going to get that much support around here, son. Go and decrease it all. Even more in Yorkshire. Nope. There we go. Good. And now we only have 85 guns of the SUA Crisis. What falls faster, a man or his shares? The men stood by the sill calmly and waited for their turn to jump at Tokyo Exchange. Secu security said. That, 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 that really sucks. 85 guns, and there's no way you can modify that. Ooh, Lufthansa, 300 spies. So, 10 Germans, 32 English, and 20 residents of Reichskommissariat Norwegen boarded the Junker 1 100 Zweihund von Sech, crewed by seven Germans at London's Heathrow Airport. Each had their own purpose for taking the flight to Bergen. Vacation like Colonel Nicola Rusch and the Hudson family returning from a business trip like Brotheim radiologist Harald Arbach. Many had reasons to fly to Reichskommissariat in Norwegen, but some had a different purpose than any of the other passengers. A few minutes after England had disappeared behind them and the flight was over the North Sea, a woman got out of her seat at the back of the aircraft and walked to the front. When a stewardess asked if she needed some sort of assistance, the woman pulled out a pistol and put it to the stewardess's head. The man jumped up and brandished a pistol as well, yelling, Don't move, hands down your heads, hands above your heads, or she gets it. He then rushed forth, opened the door, waved the gun in the faces of the German pilots. In a matter of moments, they had taken control of the plane. Oh boy. And Madagascar has exploded. Many of the passengers were horrified. Colonel Rush, worried about what would happen if the hijackers found out about his Luftwaffe service, tried to eat his identification card su suitably, or subtly, was forced to shove the wadded up, up ball inside a can of Fanta. Ah. Ardbach was uh, concerned that there would be a hostage situation and was not optimistic that whoever hand did handled the rescue would do so satisfactorily. And the Hudson family were worried the hijackers would crush up aircraft somewhere. For several hours, the passengers waited in fear, unknowing of the plans the hijackers had made. Some proposals to rush the terrorists were discussed independently, but they were discarded. It seems like all they could do was wait and guess what would happen. Nobody knew they were, where they were headed exactly, but someone overheard what the man had told the cockpit. Go northward and don't stop. To Antarctica? Collapse of German Madagascar, the everlasting legacy of the Reich. They're going the wrong way. Robert Gill, an air traffic controller in New Newcastle, noticed one of the dots on his screen had begun to move from its return to Russian quite suddenly. One moment, he had been following a straight line to the east, the next it seemed to be headed northwest. This caught his attention, and he immediately raised a question to a supervisor. They looked up at it and got the name of the flight Lufthansa 300 Zwei, a Junker 100 Zwei flying from London to Bergen. Newcastle tried to contact contacting the plane and ask him what they were doing. Uh, the plane did not respond. They tried raising the plane several times more on different frequencies that several airlines in the pack frequently used. Nothing. The plane couldn't either or outright refuse to respond. The flight was still headed towards the northwest. A sudden change in direction and refusal to communicate led the flight control to one conclusion. Newcastle reported to London they believed the plane had been hijacked assailants unknown. London was shocked and ordered all outgoing flights to temporarily halted while they tried to get a handle on how bad the situation was. Berlin was informed within an hour, and alarms went off as they tried to scramble fighters to intercept their aircraft. Lufthansa was horrified and gave a list of people who had bought the tickets. English, Germans, and Norwegians. Norwegians. Oslo was informed that some of the citizens were involved in a potential hijacking after that. They scrambled to find out where the plane was headed, trying to utilize the Luftwaffe to make contact. The pack tried to get all their diplomatic envoys, intelligence assets in Scotland and the OFL, OFN to find out what was going on. All the intelligence they had on the resistance was poured over to find a possible connection, some hints at the aircraft's plans. But they still had no idea, and all they could do was... Oh crap. Uh, watch the plane dot eventually fly off the edge of Newcastle's radar, still moving through the northwest. We can only wait and pray for their safety. Oh my goodness. Much more interesting than this stuff right here. After a few hours in the air, no explanation, the passengers of the plane landed, uh, sighted land. And the seatbelt light came on as the aircraft came in for a landing. No one knew where they were exactly, but some passengers could tell they were somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. One insisted the city had passed over was Aberdeen. When it landed, the plane was directed to stop on the tarmac outside the main terminal, where police officers were waiting for it. Many passengers worried that it would be a lengthy hostage situation that would end up with a deadly police storming. These fears were alleviated when the hijackers surrendered soon after landing, giving themselves and the daughter of the woman over to the Scottish police. Soon after, a group of police and diplomatic officials boarded the plane. They informed the passengers that the hostage situation was over, and the hijackers were merely intended to use the plane as a method of entry into Scotland. The plane would be allowed to continue to Bergen in a few hours. However, if any passenger wished to remain in Scotland, they were welcome to do so. The message was repeated. In German and Norwegian for the other passengers. Immediately, a young Nor Norwegian, I keep saying V, Norwegian, Norwegian, Norwegian couple stood up and made clear their intention to defect. This provoked the ire of Colonel Rush, who made it mental, oh boy, a note to report the couple to his superiors as soon as he got off the plane. This action had a little different effect on the Hudson family, who discussed in hushed whispers the benefits and disadvantages of getting off the plane. Eventually, they decided to do what they thought would be best for the children and got off the plane as well. Many people on the flight did not jump at the opportunity, however. Herod Akbar, Ark Ardbach, was one of them, concerned about such a massive disruption to his life. Everyone he knew was on the other side of the curtain, and so everything he knew was 
was owned over there, and yet there would never be an opportunity like this to get out from the German jackboot to start his life anew in a free country. Before the last Scottish official left the plane, Harold got off, off his seat. Freedom is worth taking a risk. Interesting. And Britannia on her knees. Franz Halder rules unopposed in Cornwall no matter the official status of the peninsula, and the only way to change that might put us squarely in the Germans' crosshairs, something we cannot afford, and even now, thus, if we wish the, resistance of, the assistance of the garrison, we will need to beg for it. Halder will have a price, no doubt, perhaps material or perhaps mo nationally motivated, and we will pay it. In return, he will crush the resistance of the communists, the deserters, and those still loyal to the false queen al at all. These... This is a sacrifice that will be difficult to make, but we must not think of ourselves in these times, but of our children who will pay the price if we fall. Yes, always think about the children. Sometimes. Sometimes. It's Operation Rufus, what do you do? Oh my goodness. Uh, didn't I just read this? Stay behind in Scotland. Huh, so... Passengers, wait, so when the aircraft arrived in Bergen that night, the passengers were taken by the Gestapo and asked to relay everything they saw or heard. There wasn't much to go on. A man and woman pulled out guns over the North Sea and demanded the aircraft turn and go to Scotland. They didn't declare any specific affiliations with any group or make statements in support of an ideology. Regrettably, several English and Nor Norwegian Norwegian citizens had agreed to stay behind Scotland along with them. Then came the digging through all the records. The hijackers were English citizens suspected of attempting to purchase transport through the Scottish border and were being looked at when the hijacking occurred. Many in the pact, especially on the security side, weren't satisfied. There had to be a resistance component to this, they thought. They interrogated and detained close relations of the hijackers and defectors, but they were just as shocked as everyone else. The English resistance didn't seem to step up their activity after the attack, and no other copycat hijackings occurred at the same time. As much as someone, some don't like it, the taking of the plane appeared to be the result of a desperate pair of dis disaffected English, not part of a wider terrorist plot against the Reich. That can't be right, right? Why would they want to leave? It's it's great in the England, or the Kingdom of England. It's great here. It's totally great. No problems here. Zero problems. Everyone loves it in the Kingdom. Totally not a civil war that was going to result in bloodshed very soon. Totally not. Totally, 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 totally. Totally not. You know, let's try to do it again. One more time. Small gun shipment, maybe? Yes? No? Maybe how about a focus complete? Non-existent relations? Ha! Uh, how typical. How typical. I wish we get more naval XP, but that's, that's fine, whatever. Yeah, we'll see if we can ever get some guns. We'll see. Because I am keeping an eye up north. Investment in Sussex at the top of the screen here, too. So, yeah, and now we can do it. Good. Ah, they got that state back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do, do that one. Over here, 80. Go and do that. That's fine. Oxford shot. Lower their uh, stuff down there. Um... Mm-hmm. Looking pretty good. Stability's still pretty good right there. Uh, did I miss any place? Keep lowering that for now. Uh, drop them. And drop them. Oh, there we go. Alright, we'll keep an eye on this. We only have 65 guns left. Hopefully we can get 100 more guns. And Rufus means they will... Oh, they lose 500 guns and we get 500. Oh, that's so good. We'll be Britannia on her knees. Good. Prevent an Icarus. The Greeks tell of a boy who flew so close to the sun that it burned him. England surrendered to the Germans because defeating them on her own was not practical or indeed possible, thus we ended up like Icarus. But the rebels didn't seem to be willing to recognize this, a stark example of why they must be kept from power at all costs. To counter this possibility, a simple solution might just be to increase overall funding of the police. Besides, greatly aiding our capabilities in regards to locating the resistance associates, it might just help us defeat them should the worst happen, which mm, might happen. Okay, I'm waiting for, uh, 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 you know, increase in relations. I, we had meetings with politicians. We should have uh, better relations. At least we have Sussex. Sussex is always a nice place. We got some really injured stuff down there. As we keep an eye on all this stuff. Madagascar, it's now it's a three ways of war. King Farouk is dead. Oh, no, no, no. And our debt now has surpassed our GDP. This kind of sucks, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's who's gonna win. The Hit Nagdut Movement. Very cool. We can reach out to politicians, but then again, even if we reach out to politicians, the politicians don't respond to us at all. They don't pick up our calls. They never ask how we are doing. It's big sad. Now we could potentially let this go, maybe get a hundred more guns. So we can do that one operation to get even more guns. That might be worth doing. But we must continue with the focus stream. Cool. The garrison grows. Good. 
The Cornwall garrison is the arm of the Reich's protection in England, dedicated to preventing us from being the subjugated to American whims ever again. Of course, such a force is appreciated, but is also a more, small, more suited to crushing a small revolt than anything larger in scale. Author Chesterton intends to change this, requesting that the king ask for an increase in the garrison size, as so to more effectively deal with the resistance organization and its insidious plots against the integrity of England. This may not be popular with our military or people, but when it comes to survival or pride, survival always takes precedence. Anyways, or always, else we would not be here at all. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know how the mod can let us, like, just waste political power. We've wasted, like, 120 political power, probably, minimum. Just trying to get better relations. And I would love to do more stuff with this, but we can't really afford it right now. What? Sussex? No, not Sussex. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. The game severely screwed us over. You know what? Would, do you think it'd be okay if I just gave myself a little political power just so we can try it? Let me know in the comments below. Should I give myself some political power just because the game just ruined it for us? Or the mod did for relations? It makes no sense. But before we end today's episode, we gotta get rid of this stuff here. No, 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 no. That is too much blue for anyone to like. Even though I love the color blue, that's a bit too much. You know what? We're gonna leave that one alone just because we can't afford to do that. We gotta. We have to save guns. Uh, this is okay to not do as well. This one's okay to not do as well. That one's okay as well. Let's see. Sussex. That's on the border. Uh, we'll do that one. London is at 75, and then we need at 80. Um, it's about mid of the midway. That's kind of okay for now, maybe. Just lower it anyways. East Anglia. That's kind of okay as well for now. I, eh, that's pretty close, actually. Pretty flipped. Cool. Mr. Shah. Um, I think that we'll call it that an episode. Uh, we could not get to the Civil War yet, but we are really hurting for guns. But let me know. Should I use, get some political power after the mod literally wasted it for us? But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we will spawn and hopefully win the Civil War. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.